Figgle TV. And there is a beef over the popular Smash Burgers concept, Trope Burgers, of course run by Houston legendary rapper Bun B. He is suing his former business partners. Bun B is from Port Arthur. Let's start right there. Accusing them of mismanaging the business's cut money. Yeah, so they've turned around. Long live Pimp C. Let's start right there. And they filed a countersuit against Trill Burger, saying that they were cut out of the company and that was their idea. Our Micah Hatfield joining us now live from the restaurant to make sense of all of these claims that are going on, Micah. There's a lot of back and forth accusations here. The issue between the two parties happened long before Trillburger opened here on Shepherd in Richmond, back when it was actually just a pop up. Yo, people are standing in line for hours to get a chance to eat the Trillburger. That was Patsy and Benson's doing. Uh, peace alert, peace alert. Peace alert, peace alert. I want unity in the community, man. Y'all be sure to wipe y'all feet. Y'all in the house of revolution. That mean hitting the like button. <laughs> Who the hell are these people? Who are these people? These people just said Trill Burgers. People standing outside to get them Trill Burgers. Long live Pimp C, them Trill Burgers. That was two other people. I think they was white. He said, well, hold on, let me make sure I get this right. Because he's saying... It ain't S-U-C, it ain't that screwed up click movement, it ain't that Houston flavor, it ain't that hey man say man what it do man pouring up something, slaying on some gold grill culture, diamonds on your pinky ring and in your chain, not that culture, that ain't what brought everybody here man, it was some white people he just named, let me hear that again, cause I gotta be sure that I'm presenting the right information to y'all, I don't wanna, you know, this is a respectable news program. That was Patsy and Vincent's doing. Who the hell is Pat, Pat C and Vincent? I would have never once stood nowhere to get nothing they have to offer. I got some people telling me, hey, I'm going to go check this Trill Burger out. They don't know the people they went there because of the legacy of Pimp C. Made an emo to Pimp Live Forever. And then that other guy right there, Bun B. Bun, after all y'all done been through, you took a multi-million dollar deal to them people again, bro. What happened to black-owned business? Is this another finesse like Puffy? You don't really own it. You get black people hyped about it. You don't have all kind of black people come promote this shit. And you telling me the white man saying it's theirs. You blew up off of them. What a joke. Depending on who you ask, they may or may not agree with that statement. Siblings Patsy and Vincent Vivarez owned Sticky's Chicken, a now shuttered restaurant in Sawyer Yards that Trillburger operated through when it was a pop-up. The Vivares were partners with rapper Bun B and two others, and the siblings attorney. Why would you go part? This, 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 this is gonna continue to happen if you niggas keep presenting yourself as this black home. All them people thought you was the man, Bun. That you, 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 you. Whole time you got some more motherfucking people. That's like like Puff and the rest of you niggas telling us y'all black owned business. Puff owned, told the whole world he owns a rock. No, you don't, nigga. You don't own another little company. They kick your ass out the company, sue your black ass. Now you are they racist. Boom. Is they racist? Is this the white man coming back to get a black man who just, nah, nah, nah. This is a black man trying to finesse the black people in the porn product into his shit and then giving the white man a big cut and he putting some in his goddamn pocket. So never black owned business to begin with. Y'all just gotta stop saying black owned business unless you own the motherfucker. And obviously you don't own the motherfucker because here come your business partners who are white or Mexican saying, well, they the ones who really made it hot. <laughs> what? That's the arrogance of these people. Ernie claims they're the ones who came up with the burger recipe that has people lining up down the sidewalk. They the ones came up with the burger recipe. You see? Bro, nigga don't give a fuck about the recipe for them burgers, man. If it, if it tastes decent, nigga would've went and got some burgers. Nigga was showing love to the trio. Pimp. Bun. That simply, that, 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 that Houston culture. And that's the real truth. Nigga go there and say, mmm, it tastes good, throw bun in the alley. Ooh. But nigga don't want no crappy food. But nigga going now because I, uh, we black owned business and nigga want to help blow them up. Man, let's turn this thing into like Jack in the Box. Let's Burger King this thing, man. Then here come these motherfuckers, culture vultures, once again. They see they want to be mean ass off other people hard work. Now they're talking about it's our burger recipes, man. I'll be damned. Man. I'll be damned. Why you damn about your crappy shit? Cause if people gave a damn, why your motherfucking place shut it? Why your place closed down? Why your business ain't jumping? Uh, Bun stole our recipe. What a fucking joke. But Bun, 
you don't get off on this nigga. That's what your black ass get, nigga, for going take going take the idea to them. Why you didn't go to see? I'm tired of these niggas talking about they got it like that. You couldn't go to some black people got it like that. Some black investors. There's a lot of black investors, bro. Man, you can't really do no business with no black people like that, man. They always trying to get over. You know, black people, man, come down the money. Oh, really, nigga? Well, who's these people who's trying to shake your ass down now? They not black. assembled this team of people to open one in Houston. This was not the brainchild of the Vivares. The Vivares are no longer part of Trill Burgers as of the summer of 2022. The business's attorney says Bun B and the other partners decided to part ways after Patsy Vivares sent a text saying she took $45,000 to put towards her other restaurant stickies. The lawsuit also... Uh, now see, this lady hit a win the account. Took out $45,000 to put into her other business, her failing business that nobody give a shit about. The business that's blooming and prospering is the Trill Burger. And once again, people need to tell the truth. It's not because how good the delicious the burger is. Nigga was showing love to the city, the city, bun, pimp, and that Houston culture, man. That's why everybody was showing up. They didn't give a fuck about uh, uh, that lady recipe. <laughs> You can't allow partners to misappropriate funds. And we, although we know about $45,000, we don't know about the total amount. The Vivares are countersuing, saying their restaurant stickies propped up Trill Burger to be what it is today, Puh. but they were cut out. If you think of a Nike swoosh, we were just like right at the bottom of the swoosh, and then it went up exponentially. So, um, you know, they're living this life that Patsy and Benson should totally have gotten to live, you know. Ha! Uh, do you hear this? Do you do man do, man y'all better hear this man? They say that Bond beating them living the life that Patsy and Vincent was supposed to be living. Bond B getting all this popularity, all this fame, y'all on TV, he on all these superstars. That's the life they was supposed to be living. The man was doing that before he even met y'all no good ass. That's his life. That's his real life. That's the that's these ballers. Drake stopped by that. Jay Prince, Gucci Mane just stopped by that. All kind of big time ballers stopping down there. That's they fucking life. It have nothing to do with none of y'all. You fucking culture vultures. You want to come eat off our plate? Take everything we do. They got the nerve to see a sticking ass. People need to tell the truth. People need to come on out and say, "Hey man, I really the burgers was all right, but I just come to show love." That's the type of people we are. We just want to show love, and we help blow this place up. And I'll be damned if they people that come try to take it from them. Sue him and then had these people come on TV and tell a goddamn lie. Man, the reason people was there, wrapped the lines around the door, and a lot line around the block, it had nothing to do with no bun beat. Oh, really? Where your shop at again? And let's go review some of that crap that's at your shop. And let's see if you got a line around the block. Well, the same recipes, ain't it? Well, you see, everyone knows about Trill Burger now. They don't want to come in. Man, please, everybody know about Trill. Fuck the burger. We know about the Trill. Bun, you not keeping it real. Long live Pimp C. Where the Pimp Burger at? Where the Pimp Combo Special at? Come on, man. Let's live. And it's always going to come. Bun, you know how I feel about you, brother. And to your ass, speak about what happened to Pimp C. Nigga, me and you will never see eye to eye, nigga. Because you got a little boy inside your fucking heart. That's real talk, nigga. You talking to live on. Nigga, see, you thought you was just going to go off into the night, live happily ever after. And look what happened to you. Now you've been exposed as the nigga who don't really have your own black owned business. Finessing us. Financing us, we thinking it's black owned business. Fuck no. He getting sued and they talking about he just roached off of them. That's crazy. But y'all niggas need to stop presenting yourselves as something that y'all not. Gonna be black owned? Get with some black investors. There's plenty of them. You don't trust your brother, man? Don't come complaining to us when you get done bad by the other man. Cuff it. Follow me.